all we're simply going to do, guys, is again, as I mentioned, so if you have an equation like this, the first thing to do is forget about the 4 and the 1 and just graph it as y equals 2 times 2 to the x. And I showed you guys how to do that with using the table because that's very important because the y-intercept is not always going to be 0, 1 when you have an a not equal to 1. Okay. So now we apply the transformations. Well, plus 4 is going to tell us to shift this graph 4 units to the left. And plus 1 is going to tell us to shift this graph 1 unit up. So all I'm going to do, I always like to start with the, asim, uh, the y-axis or y-intercept. I'm going to go 4 units to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to go 1 unit up. So you guys see how this point has now been moved 4 units left, 1 unit up. The other thing that's important is since I have a vertical transformation, remember there's a horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is at 0. So if I shift this graph up 1, now the horizontal asymptote is at y equals 1. And then all I do, guys, is just regraph from here. And you can transform all these points over 4, down 1 if you want. Um, but if you're just looking for like the general shape of the graph, that's what it's going to be like. And you can just move all those points over, and, you'll, and it'll fit that form. Does everybody see that? All right, the last thing I want